Hi, grade six. I am creating this very quick video to show you how to use the new writing lab document <clears throat> and to explain how to use it um, effectively and how to fix your blog posts. OK, so I'm going to navigate to the writing lab document now. I'm going to present my screen for you. And now I'm going to navigate to the document here. So this document will be available on your Google Classroom under week seven assignments for remote learning. Um, I would like to tell you that this document focuses on three major things that everyone in our grade needs to fix in their blog posts. Um, part of what's been slowing me down in giving you proper feedback on your blog posts is that I've found myself listing, you need to add a title, you need to add a hyperlink. You need to add an image over and over and over again. And it really slows me down as your writing teacher. And it kind of discourages me um, because I feel like I'm not getting a lot done. Um, I would much rather focus my feedback on your actual writing content than reminding you to add these elements. So what I've done here is I've uh, made you a whole document um, with all three classes and um, you will be able to see each other's, but I'm not saying anything major here, right? I would not show my feedback to, uh, to you and for you to another student. Um, this is not specific feedback, okay? This is feedback like, reminder, you need an, a hyperlink, you need a title, you need an image. If you haven't included those three basic things, you can find out what you've done and have maybe left out on this document, okay? So this is kind of like a whole class checklist. Um, the names are on the side here, but I've blacked them out, obviously, because I'm going to post this video to YouTube. So you won't be able to see your names yet, but you'll be able to see them on the document. So the way that I've broken this down is instead of writing full sentences, I have added abbreviations. So ACT means add a catchy title. AEH-L means add an embedded hyperlink. I'll get to that in a minute. AFI means add a free image. Some of you are adding free images, but they're from Shutterstock and they have a watermark that says Shutterstock on them. Um, I'd rather you did not use those for your blog posts. They don't look very pretty, okay? Um, you can use the Creative Commons website, Wikimedia Commons, and um, I also have Pixabay and Pexels available for you for links. So try to use those photo links. So here, You'll be able to see this is Sambor Homeroom, but what if I'm Greenlair Homeroom? Do I need to scroll all the way down to Greenlair Homeroom? No, I can just click this quick link here and it will take me to a bookmark on the document to Greenlair Homeroom. And similarly, Stock Homeroom, okay? As you can see, I really enjoyed making this document. I have bitmojis all over it, three of them, one for each homeroom, um, for, in no particular order either. So I have your name and you'll be able to find out, okay, the check mark means that your blog post has all three of these elements. That doesn't mean that you won't receive additional feedback. So you could have all three elements, but you could be under the word count. And I want to remind everyone, I am getting some blog posts now that we're nearing the end of this unit um, that are way under 150 words. Your minimum word count is 150 words and your maximum is 200, okay? Um, and the feedback that I would like to give you is uh, sort of being hidden by the fact that I have to say, add a title, um, add this or that. So I've made this table. You will check your name over here where right now this is black, but it won't be. Um, blog post number one. Okay, that's fine. And then blog post number four, A-E-H-L. What does that mean? I'm going to scroll back up to this abbreviation key. I need to add an embedded hyperlink. This is something that many of you, as you can see, are consistently missing. Um, and this is a little bit tricky, so I'm going to show you now. Um, Mrs. Wilkie and I also covered this in our ELA Extra Help on Wake Up Wednesday, but I'll go over it again. So I have this document, right? Um, and I've got the start of a reading response here. It's not finished, but I have the start, I have a sentence. The embedded hyperlink is actually this right here, okay? Um, but I'm going to get rid of that. So I started with this. In a book I just read by Kate Camillo, I learned about friendship and resilience. What some of you might be doing in your blog posts 
is saying, here is a bio of um, Kate D. Camillo. And then let's see, I need to look up Kate D. Camillo biography. And then I need to go to my link here and copy the link. Okay, okay, embedded hyperlink. Ready, ready, ready. Where's my document? Here. And there we go, embedded hyperlink. Some of you are also maybe putting a hyperlink in the middle of your text. Goodness gracious. Now it reads, in a book I just read by HTTPS colon slash slash www.britannica.com slash biography slash Kate dash DiCamillo. Kate DiCamillo, I learned about friendship and resilience. Now we don't want either of those links in there like that. Okay, we want something that is embedded into the rest of your text. And it means that it is part of what your reader is reading, but not interrupting what your reader is reading. Okay, so if I want to embed a hyperlink here, I select these two words here, Kate DiCamillo. I press insert link and I see the text will read Kate DiCamillo and then I insert the link right here, apply. That looks beautiful and clean and your reader can choose whether or not they want to click on that link for more information. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for in your blog post, at least one embedded hyperlink with a different source. Okay, some of you are putting two or three, some of you are getting this, some of you are not. So back to the Writing Lab page, um, as you scroll through the Writing Lab, you'll see whether or not you have these elements in each and every blog post. Okay, so I want you to go back into your blog post and unsubmit, fix these things. Um, how you unsubmit your blog post is actually, you go back to your assignment, okay? If you go back to your assignment here and you click view assignment, you should be able to see your work that you've already turned in, okay? I would like you to click the unsubmit button and then fix your work. What some students tend to do sometimes is they click on their work and then they click request edit access. That is not necessary, okay? They need to just click submit or unsubmit rather. Um, and then you're submitting it again when you're done fixing these basic things. Um, so the idea is that you look at your homeroom, first step, you look at all your blog posts. Some of you are missing all three of these elements, a title, a hyperlink, and a free use image. Some of you are only missing one. Some of you have a check mark. But these are things I don't want to have to mention in my feedback to you. So you should go in and fix them, please. Okay? I would love to see check marks all the way down this page and see that you are meeting those basic requirements for a blog post. Um, it's really important to me also that you understand the template pages are made um, for you to include all these elements. So there should be no reason why these elements are not included. Okay? The title will go here. Okay? And it does need to be a catchy title. You can't just write blog post number one, right? If I'm writing about introduction to crash course, navigating digital information, I might make my title a question. Like is digital information accurate? Okay, that's my title right there. Some of you are putting your titles down here, which I also can see, but I would prefer it to be up here. Um, then I have guiding questions. It does state the word count. If you don't know how to count your words, here it is. I highlight all my words, tools, word count, 34 words. I need 150, okay? Um, another tool I'd like you to try to use so that I don't need to correct so much of your writing um, is the spelling and grammar, okay? I'm going to write something wrong. Writing is awesome. Maybe you won't pick that up. Hold on. So as I'm typing the word alligators, um, the document is picking up that I have missed something. You should be able to highlight, you know, scroll over this, and then you should be able to accept the document's suggestion. If you're ignoring the squiggly lines, you should not be. Okay, it also will do the same thing. Um, often it will automatically change if you've done a lowercase i. Right? But it won't always. So what you should do 
is go to tools, spelling and grammar, do a spelling and grammar check. And now it will say change alligators, alligators to alligators. And it says it looks good, which is a little bit tricky. I was wanting it to pick up that I here. Okay. Um, and then last but not least, I've given you the links to all three image searches. There's also pexels, which you can use. Um, and you need to upload your image right here. Your image needs to be right there. And then your attribution license, many of them are CC 1.0. Okay. And I'll quickly review how to do that whole process before I end this video. So let's see. I want a cat. Um, goodness gracious. I think I would like illustrations. And I think I would like something a little bit different. This one right here. And I could even right click and copy the image and I should be able to just paste it right here. There we go. And the attribution license is CC0.10. Um, and I need to put that underneath the image right here. Okay, but here it's above. I'm not exactly sure why that happened. Let me move that. Okay, now my license is underneath the image here. That's what I'm asking for. I'm asking for your title, I'm asking also for an embedded link. Let me show you one more time how to do that. A relevant embedded link, right? So maybe I'll look up blog post tips. And let me make sure my link is from This is from the Huffington Post. And I'll copy this link and I want it to show up here. Now I don't want it to do this. That's not what I want. That is not embedded. I want to highlight the text, hyperlink, the buttons right next to the text color and the highlight color, the insert link, and I'm going to apply. That is an embedded hyperlink. Okay, so three major things. Check out the writing lab. These should be really quick fixes, but I don't want to have to give this feedback to you. I would rather focus on your bigger ideas and what else is going on in your writing and how I can help you best. I know that you can do this yourselves. You are almost in seventh grade and I'm so proud of what you've written and it's really been painful for me not to uh, be able to publish your blog posts just because they don't have a title sometimes. That's the only thing stopping you from being published. Okay, so don't stop yourself from being published. We have a lot of great content on our blog here, right? So if you'd like to be on our class blog, make sure that you make those changes, okay? Um, and make sure that you join in and tune in and um, use this writing lab document, please. Okay, that's all I've got for you for right now. I'm going to stop presenting and hopefully this helps you fix your blog posts. Thank you.